Now it's time to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. It's Friday and joining us as always with more dirt is Dax Holt. Good morning, Dax. <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. All right. So let's start with Lindsay here. So we have this necklace caper going on where people were saying she might have stolen this necklace. Then it gets returned. What is the latest on this saga? Well, you know, we've been looking into the store and said, you know, all the time celebrities can get loan jewelry for red carpet events and photo shoots, all that kind of stuff. So that's not uh, uncommon, you know, for her to be like, yeah, they, they loaned it to me. So we talked to the store and the owner of the store is saying that it's a very long, tedious process to actually loan out jewelry, that they've got forms and they have to get insurance information. And it's not just something that you can walk into the store and be like, cool, thanks, and walk out. So they're saying that there's no way that they loaned it to her. But, uh, you know, there could have been a miscommunication. I guess. Uh, but anyway, uh, the cops are kind of pushing everything off. They're going to investigate, obviously, but the DA yeah. is not going to. If, ch if, th if they do charge her, it won't even be until next week. They're kind of holding off for right now. But uh, the, the main thing they're going to look for is if she had an intent to steal this necklace, or if it was a mistake, mm. or if it was a misunderstanding. If that is the case, then she'll be off. But if not, she'll probably wind up behind bars. Yeah, that's what the judge had said. You know, she's almost like the weather in New England. It's like we can't go a couple of days without a storm. and. Neither can Lindsay Lohan, poor thing. All right, let's shift, <laughs> yeah, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about some football now. I guess you guys got some video of Ben Roethlisberger warming up for the big game. Where did you guys find him? I like how you call it warming up for the game, partying until oh. one in the morning. <laughs> okay. Um, but, <laughs> but uh, Ben is in a bar uh, down in Texas, and uh, he is there. I guess him and his friends and some of the other teammates got there at about 11 o'clock at night. They're in this piano bar. Mm -hmm. It's one of those dueling piano bars. He sits down at one of them, and they are singing. They're having a good time. He ends up buying shots for the, everyone in the entire bar, racking up about an $800 bill, and then drops another 200 on the tip. Mm -hmm. But they're just having a great time. Uh, some people, i got to say, some of the, the Steelers fans are like, what are you doing partying before? For the game, but yeah, party yeah. after the game, not before. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, there's a lot of people saying it's tradition. This is what they do all uh, every year, you know, uh, before big games, and so leave them alone. Nevertheless, he's got till Sunday. He's going to exactly. be fine, and we'll see him out there playing. Yeah, he's still got a couple days to recuperate. All right, Dax, thanks so much for joining us, and you can catch TMZ right here on Fox Providence at 7 p.m. Or for any of the stories you just saw, head to our website, foxprovidence.com.